welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday, it's the 23rd of January, we've got some new mods, they actually dropped quite early today. Uh, we've only got a couple of mods, one of the mods uh, is kind of a little pack. Uh, in front of me we've got the Carrero Tractors Compact VLB 75, that came out Saturday. I thought I'd just roll that up into this. Updates for today then, the Sawmills Pack by Ola Haldor. The Case IH Axial Flow Series by Matt26. The Map Wastelands by FSPT. That says it does need a new save game. The Polish House by Jopek56. The Pond Scorpion King by HR Forst and Fazoigbau. The Class Jaguar 900 Type 502 by Skywalker Farms. The Animal Placeables Pack by Puma145. And the Map Otsei Kusta 22 by Taker LS, which also says it needs a new save game. Have all had updates so in front of me as i said the carrero tractors compact vlb 75 22.1 megabytes download 15 slots on console this is by pepe 978 so it joins the antonio carrero lineup uh, this is a um, low center of gravity wider front axle not necessarily the rear axle tight turning circle designed for vineyard work olive groves that kind of thing You'll find it under small tractors. 45,000. Not too expensive, actually. It's only 75 horsepower, but a lot of the Antonio Carrera ones are that sort of horsepower for the vineyard work. We've got the option of Trelleborg with that tyre, Continental with that, Michelin with that, British time with that, and back to Trelleborg. There's no options within those. We've got front weight, standard, or 150 kilo. We can change the rim colour to a silver or a darker grey. I do quite like that. And there's a licence by option there as well. There's no option to change the colour of the vehicle. comes just like that. So let's hop on and start it up. Horn, beacon on the rollover protection system, which can be folded down like that. Everything doing what it should. As I said, turning circle on this, actually. It is really nice and tight. So if you're doing your vineyard work, pretty handy. First person, looks like that. Nicely detailed. Nice addition there. There we go. Turn the wing off. Engine off. The Carrero Tractors Compact VLB 75 by Pepe 978. Moving on from there. We've got this. The Landol 7431 VT. 33 feet by BC Bueller. 14.1 megabytes download. 11 slots on console. 10.1 meters wide. This doesn't have any options. There's nothing to change or choose. Colours tyres, wheels, rims, nothing at all it just comes exactly like this but we do have a Landol disc harrow, that's where you'll find it under disc harrows there's me saying there are no options, there aren't any options but that's where you'll need to look for it, under disc harrows it's a big old bit of kit requires 300 horsepower to pull start the tractor Nice smooth animation on the unfold. Let's drop it down. Shallow cultivation, as you can see, so no stones will get pulled up. In fact, it wings out from either side, gives you a bit of flexibility, as you can see it moving over the ground there. So if you've got uneven ground, sloped ground, that kind of thing, there is a bit more movement in it, which will help. So you'll catch most of the ground as you go. Lovely. The Landol 7431VT, 33 foot by BC Bueller. Moving on to this, which is the Lizard SSK60 by Pascal Counts. 
The SS60, in essence, is just this trailer. Um, it's a, it's not a fluids trailer. It's for crop types that flow like a fluid. So your various different grains and things like that, sugar. There are obviously there are loads of vehicles like this out in the real world. We have had uh, trailers like this before, but this does also come with a grain mill and a sugar mill modded as part of the pack. So it's 14.81 megabytes download, nine slots on console for the trailer, which is a 60,000 litre, the SSK 60. The grain mill, which is there, that's 17 slots, 96,000 to buy. And then the sugar mill is 17 slots and 80 grand to buy. We'll have a look at those in a bit more detail in a moment. As you can see, they don't have um, spawn points for pallets because the trailer is designed to take the sugar or the flour you drive underneath and load up from the um, silos from underneath. So yeah, there'll be no pallets spawning on these. The actual production speeds are pretty good as well. I've set them off and running already. I've filled them both up, so we'll talk about the capacities and stuff in a moment. Uh, the trailer itself, really nicely detailed. It's got a really good open cover animation as well, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. So the trailer itself, you will find under trailers just there 86 grand to buy slot count comes down to one as you can see it will take sugar and flour and salt and lime uh, solid fertilizer pretty much all the main crop types corn soybean sunflower all those kind of things pretty handy uh, we can change the main color to anything on that pa uh, on anything on this palette on that palette this palette here chassis color no, oh, that didn't change, did it? Hang on. Let's go back to that. Chassis colour. Uh, rim colour. We do have the chrome and there's a sort of metallic -y grey and then the rest of the palette fairly standard on there. There's a licence plate option on there as well. So, let's jump in the lorry. So I want to show this open. We do have lights on the back, indicators, reverse lights. Says, there we go. But this is what's really cool. Watch this when we open cover. How cool is that? Something a bit different, isn't it? So, what we'll do, actually, we'll open the cover again. I have got some flour being made and some sugar being made already. start filling 633 litres so far but that's where you're going to take it out from putting everything in is done here and you manage production is done from there so the grain mill itself then wheat flour barley flour oat flour and sorghum flour it takes 270,000 litres of each of those and like I said the cycles are pretty good the wheat flour 36 100 or 3,600 cycles per month. The recipes are fairly standard, but the cycle is pretty good. Barley, 600. Uh, oat flour, 1,200. And sorghum flour, 1,200. So I've got them all running at the moment. And then if we go next door, putting in is done down the side of the sugar mill. Same thing again if we want to take out. We come underneath here. Production is run from around here. And this will do sugar beet sugar, sugar beet cut sugar, and sugar cane sugar. Again, uh, the actual cycles per month are pretty good. Uh, 12,000, 4,800, and 12,000. This takes 360,000 litres of each. And I've got that running again already as well. Uh, these you'll find under build mode and productions. If you're at that point where you know it, you might be, you still want to do sugar, you still want to do your flour for various different things, but you've got a lot of pallets on the map already, or you're just fed up with doing pallets, um, you can still set these to distrib distribute. So if I go across there, we can have storing, selling, or distribution. So you can still distribute them around however you want to do it, your sugar and your flour if you want to. You don't have to have it on storing, but when it is on storing, you just don't get any pallets, which is quite handy. So under build mode, under production, Right on the end on factories is where you'll find them. 96 grand and 80 grand. Slot counts come down to one on both of those. And then the trailer that goes with it. 
Now, I know the mods have dropped early today. I'm not anticipating any more mods today. That's not to say there won't be. That's it. The Lizard SSK60 by Pascal Kautz. The last of the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.